Hey everybody, welcome back to Gooseberry Homestead. So I came out to the greenhouse this afternoon after I laid down the black cloth back where the garden is going to be. And um, I just came in and I know that my, um, my planters need to be watered um, more. So tomorrow I'm going to, or tonight, this evening, in a, like probably actually... In like an hour or so when the shade is fully over um, the greenhouse in here I'm actually gonna come into the greenhouse and I'm actually gonna water so I'm not gonna wait till this evening I was thinking I was but no I'm not because these need some soil or some soil they need some water now you can see like this section here is a little bit dry this section a little bit more wet and so I need to come in here and give the water um, give the water I can't not talk you guys I have to come in here and water these trays now as many of you know my greenhouse got knocked over my wonderful boys came and helped me pick up all the dirt and helped me straighten up the greenhouse and I'm so thankful now I don't know what some of these plants are right now because my seeds did get all messed up on some of the trees primarily with some nesting peppers and some tomatoes and my um, my carnival squashes so um, I'm still gonna be having things coming up in these trays so I came out here and I noticed some things that had come up so these are either tomatoes or nesting peppers or another variety of tomatoes there's two different kinds of like cherry tomatoes that I had planted so I've got one here and one here and then I've got another one here and I think this is red dragon arugula in that cell red dragon arugula, arugula here same with this one and this one I think this is also red dragon arugula and then there's something coming up right here in the corner not quite sure what it is um, another red dragon arugula um, here's something coming up right here I don't know what it is um, so I mean it could be just about anything and then I was scanning across and looking and we've got um, one of the carnival squashes coming up right here and I do remember seeing some tomato or pepper seeds in this section here so and then there was another seed back here I poked in the other day so they're probably gonna be something coming up there um, I got some more dirt um, out of one of my bags and I filled this tray and this tray nothing's planted than those yet a little bit of dirt in this tray and then I got some of that expandable dirt which I'll show you guys how that um, how that expendable dirt is and um, it's pretty darn cool um, I was using the expandable dirt when I was in Germany and that was back in 2013 and 2014 and this is the first year that I've seen it in the stores 2019 here in the United States so we'll just have to um, show you guys how that works if you guys are not familiar with the expandable dirt um, basically they've compressed it down so tightly and um, it's it's so uh, it's so awesome it's very loose just like these potting soils and it's really great for starting your um, your starts and stuff in. and that's what I used when I was over there it was perfect because um, I was able to get these small bags and they would like triple in size the amount of dirt would just triple in size from like a small bag and so I've got these little cubes and I'll show you guys in another video how those work so um, so down here I haven't taken a look at this one yet to see what's going on here it still has that one thing that I had planted in it um, so we'll just ha we'll watch that see what that is I don't remember what it is um, <laughs> another red dragon arugula and I'm going to be taking these um, uh, sets out and now that I have the black tarp down back here in the garden area I'm going to be moving these um, onions back along this back section right here and so um, somewhere in there I'm not exactly sure so I'm gonna be planting those back there um, I did notice this morning or just a little bit ago I noticed this here so I've got um, a carnival squash another carnival squash so exciting you guys they're just popping up here and there um, and then I saw some more green here a second ago there's that one and I thought I saw some green in one of these there's something green right here not sure what that is um, 
And then I know there's a carnival squash down in there. There's, there was two seeds. So I see a little green poking up right there, right there. So that's a carnival squash. There was another seed down in there. Um, down around here is one of those um, apple seeds that came up. It's coming up right here. Can't really see it. It's got the seed still attached. And that is an apple seedling. And that is from a fruit called, um, it's got like some sort of dragon on the outside of it. It was kind of, I can't remember the name of it, you guys. I'll have to look it up. Um, my little label's like completely demolished. But I'll have to look it up for you guys. I know my um, dinosaur kale, I moved it out of that one planter. And because I know dinosaur kale can get pretty big. So I just put it in this little pot right here. And it's doing fine. I've transplanted in like two different places since um, the other day and since the greenhouse tipped over. But it's still doing okay. A lot of green coming on the lemon verbena. And like I said, I'm going to wait to do any kind of more trimming on the lemon verbena until it has plenty of time to come out of dormancy. Because um, sometimes it takes just a little bit longer for some of the limbs to start showing signs of life. And then you feel bad when you cut something out that was going to be having green on it. So I'm just leaving it alone. Nothing so far with the echinacea, I don't think. And then I was giggling because look what popped up back here in the um, in my little uh, goldenberry pot. Another carnival squash. So that just goes to show you how um, how much the dirt just got mixed everywhere in the greenhouse, you guys. <clears throat> and so down here is. A hydrangea that's coming back from the roots. I split my hydrangea up. Part of it's in the front yard. Some of the other clippings are in another container that I'm going to plant in the yard in the backyard. And then this is a section I'm going to keep for myself. And I'm just going to put it into a small pot. Um, right now it's in one of those um, hydroponic pots that has the um, mesh along the outside. So it's great for air pruning. So I'm leaving it in this for now. Red dragon arugula back here. Um, I took all of those seeds out of here, but what's left is still some artichoke seeds in this um, pot here. So we're just leaving that alone. Not a whole lot going on in here. I'm pretty sure this is not a gooseberry. Um, so it might be just a weed or something. Not seeing anything happening. So what I'm probably going to do is empty that dirt out and reuse this pot for something else. Lettuces or something like that. Now this is what I'm really excited about, guys. Super, super stoked. I've got green right here, which means we've got, oh no, oh, I've got two greens. You guys, I've got too many eggplants. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. So yeah, and I need to water them. They need water. In this section right here, I've got yellow pear, yellow pear. You guys, this is so exciting because this was the one tray that had so many starts and so many seedlings in it that um, I was going to be so bummed because I didn't have seeds to replace some of them. Oh, the Lord was looking out. The Lord was looking out for, for me and my heartache. I swear to you, you guys, he was, he's, he's just blessing me. I just know it. So this just went from one side of the greenhouse to the other side, unscathed pretty much. Just those two cells that I lost back there. But I've got two mini eggplants coming up. I've got one yellow pear here, one yellow pear here. What a blessing. What a blessing. They're coming up in twos, you guys. Just like the, um, the, the two clean animals going to the ark. <laughs> there was more than two that went there, but, you know, just saying. Um, <laughs> so I've got two of those. Um, nothing so far going on in the long, thin cayenne. Nothing in the Tabasco section here. Top Girl, nothing yet. And then here is the Early Jalapeno, nothing yet. And then nothing in the Enjoya, but so excited about these two down here with the yellow pear tomato and the mini eggplants. I am so excited, you guys. Now, I'm just as equally excited, you guys, about seeing my random carnival squashes. So far, it looks like I've got one, two, three, four, 
five carnival squash plants that have come up out of 35. So we're going to be keeping our eyes out for the other, um, <laughs> the other 30 that should be somewhere in these um, flats. This is um, going to be just one wild year for growing. So excited. This looks like it's probably a tomato based on the yellow tomatoes that came up. This one looks like it might be a tomato. Could be it could be a pepper. This one looks like a tomato. So we'll just keep an eye on everything, you guys. Um, my um, lemon verbena starts kind of went through a whirlwind. Also, those all completely came out of the thing. So I just threw the dirt back into the pot and didn't even care how it went in, you guys. But I've got um, other things starts coming up in here other starts for things and I've got um there's a start here too um <laughs> there's all kinds of things in the dirt in this that is some things that got mixed from the ev everything else but I've got lemon verbena popping up in here on the stalks so there's still plants down in there and they will fully root and they will come up so I wasn't so worried about them so much um, lemon verbena is one of those forgiving plants you guys especially when it's down in the ground so um, I do have some more of the goldenberry starts down here and as soon as they are well established out here in the greenhouse you guys these are going to be going um, up for sale on my um, my marketplace and then it looks like I've got um, possibly from the roots one of my uh, what do you call them I think this is the double gold raspberry so I'm hoping hoping against hope and I'm gonna be going and checking that here today as well to see if that's gotten anything going on with it over there in the roots coming up from the roots that is so you guys, that's pretty much it in the greenhouse today. Thanks so much for coming along with me. Comment, like, and subscribe. Click the bell button. And as always, have a wonderful day. And God bless. Bye.